Crescent. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you girls my makeup routine for how I keep my makeup off my mask, some of the tips and tricks that I use to keep my makeup on my face lasting longer and off my mask. So if you're interested in that, definitely keep on watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and let's go ahead and get started. Brows don't want to take me longer. This is why I like to already have them done. But I just wanted to do it so you girls can see how I do my brows. If this is your first time here, I do have a brow tutorial that I just uploaded for you girls. So I know every single video I won't be doing my brows like I am now. I'm going in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, girls. It's been a minute since I pulled this palette out, but, and it still smells like peaches, girls. Like, oh, it smells so good. But anyways, I'm going in. When I saw this palette, like I'm gonna show you a close-up of it, especially if you don't have it. I don't know, is it available still? Hopefully it's available, girls. But anyways, um, I saw all the neutrals, especially up top. So those are what I'm playing in today. I'm gonna start off with um, Summer Yum as my transition. And then I'm gonna go in with Puree. Now we're gonna go in with puree, which is that lighter brown. Right here. Now, from this palette, we're gonna go in with the color, it's not showing up, the color Georgia, which is like this pale peach color. I'm gonna go in with this small Sigma E55 brush because this packs on a lot of product. Speaking of Georgia, have you girls started watching, um, what is it, Jenny and Georgia on Netflix? Georgia and Jenny, Jenny, I think it's Jenny and Georgia on Netflix. It's a really, really good show. I started watching that a few weeks ago. I think I mentioned it in another video, but it's pretty good. I told my sister to start watching it. She started watching it and she likes it. I'm not doing a cut crease. I'm just putting this on the crease a little bit higher than my lid. I have hooded lids. So if I were to look up, you wouldn't be able to see this color. So I'm going a little bit higher than where my natural crease is on my lid.
So I just put my lashes on off camera, girls. It takes a whole lot longer with these nails. Normally I can get it really fast with my tweezers, but I haven't been able to find my go-to tweezers and these are ones I just grabbed from Dollar Tree. And it's not the same. So it took me a little longer to put my lashes on today. I haven't used NARS in a while. Let's switch it up. I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation. This is in New Caledonia. I haven't used this foundation in a long time, so <clears throat> we're gonna have to see how well this works. Like I, I already know as far as like the coverage, I love it, but it's been a minute since I used it. And yeah, it's a little dark. I may have to go up one shade because, girl, it's no sun here. So I feel like I've been losing a, lo a lot of my little melanin glow that I've had before, before we first moved here. So I may go up one shade um, in this foundation. Because I do love the coverage of it. But then again, it's about to be summertime, but we still don't really get too much sun here. So yeah, I may go up one shade. But my um, concealer and everything should cancel it out. I know I can tell a difference. Like on camera, it looks really nice. The overall finish of this is like a nice satin finish of this foundation. I'm gonna go in with my concealers. I'm going in with my setting power, my Laura Mercier A. I said I wasn't gonna try anything new today, but I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, this is the airbrush bronzer and I have mine in number three tan. That's how it looks. I've used it before, so I already know I like it. to do like while this fix plus is still like getting ready to dry I go back in and I touch up everything like everywhere that I use powders I go back in and just go over it because the fix plus kind of you know the fix plus kind of took away some of the powder
gonna go in with this NYX Wonder Pencil and this is in 02. Okay, because this is a mask look, we're gonna play on the eyes today. Going back in with this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I know it seems like a lot of steps, girls, but we're just repeating everything that we just did. And that is like the secret to getting your makeup flawless. Like just going back in and lightly going over what you did. I love the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Like I only used it a little bit last time, but today, oof. Today it's saying something, y'all. Mascara. I'm going with my Urban Decay All Nighter Mascara. No, this isn't All Nighter. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Perversion, my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I'm gonna go in with this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlight. This used to be like my favorite highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with Chestnut first, and then I'm gonna go in with a new liner. I'm trying out a lip liner from the Milani. This is their salt and pepper collab they did and they did this months ago i just had this in my makeup storage this is the lip pencil right here i'll swatch it real quick it's in the color 240 shoop but it's a beautiful light brown it's right there light brown color with this dose of colors nude right here okay so I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, Ariana Grande and Mac lip gloss on top We're gonna set everything with our Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the finished look. I just like to go back in and touch my brows. You already know this. So you can go in with eyeliner if you want to on top of your lashes. I didn't want to. Um, and since this is going to be a masked makeup look, I took a little bit extra of my setting powder and then just touch like in my smile lines here, just everywhere where the mask is gonna be. I do have like this little bracket here that I do use whenever I do wear my makeup out. I'll put this over my makeup, just like this. And then this is my mask right here. So this is how it should look with your mask on. You don't have any makeup on your mask. And that is basically it, girls. So hopefully you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you do decide to try out this concept, let me know down in the comment section how it worked for you. So definitely try it out if you haven't. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.